Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you back after a long time, almost a month, more than a month, in fact. Finally, back to making videos again. So, I had an amazing trip to India recently from October 25th, and now I'm back to Germany again. <laughs> And I'm overwhelmed by the messages that all of you have sent to me via WhatsApp, YouTube, or Facebook, or by any means that what happened, why other videos are not coming. So don't worry, now the videos will come, all right? Hopefully. <laughs> and yes, as usual, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, then please go down to the description section where you'll find the link to my website. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So many times we get this question, which is the best system of astrology? Which one is it? Parashri Jyotish, is it? Jaimini Jyotish, is it? Nadi Astrology, is it? KP Astrology? Well, there was once a story, you know. <laughs> So in that story, what happened? There was a person who had um, asked similar questions to his guru. Then his guru asked him a counter question. His guru asked him that, which shoe size is the best? Is it number eight, number seven, number nine, number 10 or 11 or 12? And then the disciple was confused. He said, what? I mean, there's no best shoe size it's just a matter of which shoe fits so similarly there is no best or superior or supreme system of astrology all the systems of astrology they are having their own purpose so the answer is it depends on what you are interested in so for example parashari jyotish we all know the signs and the houses and we see the planets and we also use nakshatras there in parashari jyotish we give a lot of importance to the signs which means the planet is exalted or it is debilitated or in friend sign or enemy sign then we have jaimini astrology i have not made much videos on jaimini but i will make very soon so in Jaimini, what happens? There's the concept of Chara Karakas, okay, the Atma Karaka, which is the planet with the highest degree. Then we have Amatya Karaka, and up to down we have Dara Karaka. Then we have Nadi astrology, then we have KP astrology. In Nadi, there are significators like Jupiter is the significator of the person. Yes, from man or woman, I'm not very aware, but irrespective of that there are many different rules of nadi astrology and then we have kp astrology where we break things into nakshatras and then we break things into sub lords and then we have you know inside jaimini we have the concept of arudha in parashara also it is there then we have divisional charts so there are systems of astrology which don't even know that there are divisional charts and still they end up giving the most fantastic predictions and there are systems of astrology which don't even know that there is something called as nakshatra or sub lord and still yet they end up giving the most fantastic predictions so therefore instead of asking this question which is the best system of astrology to learn Ask this question to yourself. What do you want to know? What is your goal? What is your aim? Depending on that, it will depend which system is good for you. Not that that system is superior in itself. But depending on your desires and your wishes, there might be a best system for you. So for example, if you want pinpoint predictions of dates and events, then I have seen in my limited experience of astrology that people say that they have 
more accuracy with Nadi and KP astrology. Now, suppose you are not interested in that. You are interested in knowing about yourself, the journey of your soul, where you have come from, where are you going, or supposedly, and what, what are the karmas that you have to do in this life? What kind of situations are dictating your inner boundaries? They're either restricting or they are making you free from the inner boundaries. What are those? Well, then you can try Parashara or you can try Jaimini. If you want to know about the concept of Arudha, then you learn what's Arudha Lagna. There are so many different Lagnas. There's, there's Ghatika Lagna, then there is Shri Lagna, there is Varnada Lagna. There are so many different things. If you are interested in learning specific areas of your life, especially spirituality, and for married people, uh, their married life, then you can study the divisional chart known as Navamsha, D9 chart, which is studied completely differently. Yes, then we have a divisional chart for property, for vehicles, for career, we have the Shamsha chart. All right, so we need to ask ourselves, what do we want to know? Or not know, but what do we want to learn actually? Because the biggest reason or not the biggest the only reason we cannot understand astrology or we cannot learn astrology is because we are least interested yes and yes many people don't like when i say this they feel pinched but what do i mean when i say that they are we are not interested i mean to say that we are only interested in learning about our horoscope that's the problem so irrespective of whichever system of astrology you are learning it will become the best or the worst depending on your attitude so for example recently uh, one of my friend he had joined some course on astrology in one of the cities in india i won't take names <laughs> and then what he told me was that he had joined some course and he went to the class and suddenly when the teacher was explaining a principle, oh, Saturn in this house is this, Saturn in that house is that. Then uh, he said, uh, some people from the class stood up and they were asking, oh, actually, you know, sir, I have Saturn in this house, what will happen? And then he was shocked. He was like, what? Have you come to look at your own horoscope or you have come to study uh, Jyotish doesn't look like you see so then he asked me why does this happen and then I said that yes that's the sad story everywhere so first we need to understand that our own horoscope see not only our own horoscope any horoscope it is your mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife, client, or whoever that person is. You will never understand the horoscope. 100%. It's impossible. Because Srimad Bhagavatam says, Manda Sumanda Matayo. In Kali Yuga, the intelligence is very limited. Now, that does not mean that we cannot give some prediction or we can't say anything about the chart. I'm not saying that. But if somebody says, he goes to an astrologer and says, Sir, I want to know 100% about myself. No, that's not possible. I don't care which system you are using. You are using Jaimini, Parashara, Nadi, KP. Ah, you just can't. It's not possible. Because you are not simply the horoscope. You have to remember this. You are, you, you are a spirit soul, actually. Yes? You, you are not the horoscope. People think they are simply the products of their horoscope. No, it's not like that. The, the horoscope is a product of our choices. As in uh, India, uh, many times people say, no, hum badhiya hai, hum theek hai, lekin kya kare, humare grah kharaab hai. This translates into English. Somewhat like this. Oh, I am perfect. Now, there's nothing wrong with me, but 
the only problem is there in my horoscope so it's like saying the only reason i don't get a good job is uh, because i don't have a good resume well that's not the reason the reason is you have not performed reasonably well and that is why you have a bad resume either it's your school or college or whatever so similarly if you want to understand we, through any system of astrology if you want to understand yourself then the first thing you have to do is see there are three things you have to do the first thing you have to do is you have to forget that you, you have to stop linking everything with your own chart then only you will understand which system works how then the second thing that you have to do is you have to learn from a mentor mentor means you have to take some course where you can understand in a structured way what is being taught and trust me and i am saying this youtube is not the best place to study astrology youtube is a place where you can get an introduction to astrology the videos in youtube yes and i'm not hinting to any other channel i'm speaking of myself and every other channel yes these these videos are all introductory imagine you need four freaking long years to study bachelor of technology you need how many years to study masters you need so many years to study mbbs you need so many years don't think two years three years imagine the time you have in nursery see to study bachelor of technology it needs how many my god 12 years 18 years 18 years precious years of your life you need to 18 or 16 yes so you it, it is not realistic for us to think that we will just see videos on astrology in youtube and we will understand we cannot understand it like that we must join some course and in a structured way learn under a mentor only then we can learn that system whichever system you want and what is the third thing the third thing is we have to have some strict spiritual practices in our life only then we can understand what jyotish is because jyotish is not some prediction or some knowledge of the soul it's not that it it is it's a it's vedanga it's a part of the vedas yes it's a limb of the vedas actually not part so jyotish is vedanta sutra says what's vedanta sutra the end conclusion of the vedanta sutra the natural commentary to the vedanta sutra is the shrimad bhagavatam which starts with this shloka janma dyasa yato anvaya dita ratas charthesu bhigya swarat tene brahma hridayadi kavaye muhyanti at surya muhyanti at surya what does this mean it means this shloka refers to lord vishnu muhyanti at surya even the suras cannot understand suras are the demigods tejo vali mridam yatha vinimayo yatra tri sargo misha dhamna svena sada nirasta kuhakam satyam param dhimahi dhimahi to that personality i offer my respects <laughs> he is the source of all the intelligence so if we do not understand the conclusion of the vedas if we do not understand what is prakriti what is jeeva what is bhagavan what is karma if we do not understand these topics our study of jyotish is incomplete in fact we are simply wasting time all right either it's on youtube or by doing some astrology course yes i know people who have done courses for 35 years in jyotish and still they become envious or jealous when they see that somebody is getting some limelight well everybody gets limelight by their own karma by their own destiny 
that's the fundamental of jyotish that's what karma is so if we are becoming jealous when somebody is uh, getting more name fame and recognition than us it's actually nobody gets more or less they get what's their due and we get what's our due so the point is we go into that comparison oh and then we have actually not learned any jyotish you may be the best predictor out there you may be there there are people who can predict the minute when you will get married you may be able to do that but if you are jealous when somebody is becoming apparently more popular or more famous than you well then Ah, there's some serious homework that we need to do in the land of Jyotish. That means we have not understood what karma is. So we need to read scriptures like the Srimad Bhagavatam and the Bhagavad Gita which teaches us the basic essence of core spirituality. Only then and when we are chanting mantras and we have a good lifestyle, my God, and I'm so happy, so happy, so happy that so many people, they have messaged me that after seeing my videos, they have given up eating non-vegetarian food. Very good. Congratulations to all of, all of you who made it. And I know many more will message me now that, okay, maybe in another two months, I'll give up another three months. So I'm waiting for all of your messages. And there are so many who have also said that they've stopped drinking or they've stopped watching uh, nasty stuff in the internet well that shows that you have made spiritual progress so when we do these three things first is we forget temporarily at least that we have our own horoscope we stop linking every point every sutra to our chart and second is we learn in a systematic way under a mentor and the third is we do spiritual practices during the day which elevates our consciousness and on the weekends we visit spiritual communities spiritual centers only then when we know what is the conclusion the end of it all yes nama sanketanam yasya sarva papa pranashanam that shloka from the shivan bhagavatam Pranamo Dukkha Samanas Tvam Navami Harim Param That is the conclusion of the Shrimad Bhagavatam. Alright, so if you know what is the meaning of the shloka, then please write it down. There you go. I gave you two shlokas. One, the first shloka and the ending. <laughs> Alright, so that is the conclusion. Tvam Navami Harim Param So when we know this, then we can learn any system of astrology and it will be perfect for us you can learn jaimini you can learn panashara you can learn kp you can learn nadi it doesn't matter then you will not learn the rishis will guide you when you are conscious spiritually and you are trying you are making the effort to elevate yourself by doing spiritual practices then we actually don't get the knowledge. The Rishis give us the knowledge. Because this is the knowledge of Rishi Parashara and all the great sages. This is not some uh, man manufactured knowledge. You know? This has come directly down from the higher authority in Parampara. So therefore, we have to understand that we cannot cram every sutra on astrology by our own intelligence it's not possible why because ultimately the rishis has to bless, they have to bless us otherwise we our knowledge will be half hearted yes as i said 35 years into astrology still jealous oh look he has become more famous you try to pull that person down no astrology, zero knowledge of Jyotish. All right, so understand that everybody has their karma. Everybody, nobody gets more, nobody gets less. Everybody gets what 
is there in their quota <laughs> all right so when we back up our sp uh, study of jyotish by doing spiritual practices only then we can ask this question which is the best system of astrology all right uh, before that maybe there's a lot of homework to be done all right so let's do the homework and then let us go and find which is the best system of astrology all right but you don't need you don't have to find that because there is no best system it depends on what you want but whichever you want whatever you study irrespective of that these things have to be done in the background otherwise what will happen there are people sometimes they message me that i have studied astrology from the last Five years, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years, twenty-five years, thirty years, but still, till now, I don't know anything. I just know some rules like Saturn in the fifth, delaying childbirth, delaying love affair. These, these, these are rules. I mean, anybody knows these rules. All right. So, if we want to be sincere students of Jyotish, then let us have strict spiritual practices during our day and not deviate our consciousness by discussing the useless, filthy, disgusting, rubbish, garbage of this material realm. All right. Who won the election? Which party? Which party formed government? Yes. Which party came together with which party? Who won the cricket match? Who won the football match? Who, which cricketer is getting married to which uh, film star? <laughs> All right. Let them do whatever they want. But their marriage, their cricket, their sports, their football, their government, their politics, is not going to improve our life it is just a cloud in the air that oh this government will be formed then you know my country will change this will happen oh so many governments have come so many governments have changed so many governments have stayed yet no change people suffering crying dying miserably even if those people who are not dying they're living they're not living actually they are just existing all right so do not exist simply start living realize your inner potential that you are a soul you are a, you are you are a part and parcel of god that's what krishna says in the gita and realize that he's himself sitting in your heart yes Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati. Krishna is telling that. And that is why I said, or I still say, or hopefully I will continue saying, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him and you will find Him. All right? So that is from this shloka. Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati. And when we do our practices properly, what happens? Brahma Bhuta Prasannatama Anaso Chatina Kangshati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhbhaktim Labate Param Brahma Bhuta Prasannatama One who is situated in the spiritual platform Naso Chatina Kangshati No hankering, no lamentation Oh, I had a breakup with this girl, with this boy Oh my God, he's gone, she's gone Are Aja, Aja, Aja desperate sometimes they end up searching in google how to get the ex-boyfriend back how to get the ex-girlfriend back xyz all right so don't search x y or z you can search g maybe <laughs> all right you can search g or k <laughs> all right thank you so much nice to see you back again and wish you all the best in learning uh, the best uh, system of astrology and uh, if you want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope 
then you can go down to the description section to book a reading with me and yes once again god is there with you all the time just look to him and you must find him that's the only way bye bye see you tomorrow